is just boom trap. Oh! So sorry. So, so sorry. Hey, what's going on, pros? We are back with a new. We're gonna start doing the installs and show you guys all the ins and outs of how to make mods and install mods into your Minecraft. I know a lot of you know, but a lot of you don't. You know, so I want to start spotlighting some mods. And this new mod that I've just found is Dungeon Tactics. So it's a pretty cool mod, and we're going to go through the mod, but I'm going to show you how to install it first. So first thing you're going to do, pros, is start up your Minecraft like this. Okay? And then you got your 1.11 now, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use, we're going to go to the users latest right here, edit profile and you're gonna go to the latest views here and you're gonna download 1.10.2 right there you got that pros all right so save it and play it and it will start up like this and uh, let's see how long this will take to download 1.10.2 real quick as you can see it is downloaded oh there you go it is going and I don't know why this windows open over here. It's a little freaky to me. I, I, I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. And we're just going to open it up and let's bring this up a little bit more. I, I just, I don't know why this windows here. Let's, let's refresh maybe. Oh, there it goes. Refresh. All right. Let's create a world real quick. And just to open up all the libraries, because Minecraft has a lot of libraries, and Forge is going to install his their libraries, and you want everything to be running perfect. So the only way to do that is to get in here and start this up. So now we got all the sound library. Hey, Piggy, how you doing? Have, have you seen any sheep around? Damn, Piggy. All right, so we're going to leave, all right? And we're going to exit out of there. Now... In your start button, you're going to put percentage. Let's see, where the hell? I haven't done this in so long. Percentage, app, data, like that, and percentage again. Where the hell? Where is your, where is your, your picture? And you're going to go to your roaming, as you can see right here. And that's going to pop up, and you're going to find this folder is called .minecraft. In there... You're going to see your virgin Minecraft before Forge has got in there. So I just wanted to show you that where you're going to find it. Now, you can make a shortcut here like I did right here. I have I just have to push this and it goes right into my roaming so I don't have to continue going into my percentage app data. So now, as you can see, now you can go here to your Forge and I'm going to put the link underneath the, and the website is going to look like this. Now you're gonna have 1.11, 1.10, this is the one you want, okay, pros? And you're gonna get the Windows, I'm gonna install the Windows, and I already downloaded, you're gonna wait a few seconds, it says, please wait four seconds, right behind all this ad stuff, don't touch anything, please. And you're gonna skip, and then you're gonna download it. I already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna download it again. Here we go, and it's gonna say, please run? Yes, okay, so now, since you have, and you're going to install it into your client because you're not making a server. Right now, we're just doing a client. So we're going to press OK, and it's going to start installing your Forge. So it's going to install right into your roaming. It knows exactly where it's at. So here we go. It's installing all its libraries now. So you're just going to have to wait, and it says successfully installed the client version on one point. OK, we're done. Plus OK, says 13 required libraries. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Now we're going to open our Minecraft again, so like so. And we're going to open our versions again. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to see Released Forge. And you're going to press that. And then you're going to re press Refresh, because I don't know why this thing keeps on opening. And we're going to save, like so. And we're just going to... And now it's going to... 
open up the forge and it should be installed it should run as soon as it opens up so we're gonna wait until it runs and installs its forge it by it's so easy everything's done for you forge has gotten so much easier and mod you know modding is so much easier now now as you can see the mods folder is open now and you could have all your forge right there you're done all right let's quit now you're gonna go back to your roaming and if you haven't done it yet you're gonna put percentage app data percentage and you're gonna go into your roaming folder and you're gonna open your dot minecraft like this as you can see it's there now you can see you can have a couple of new folders here the one that you're looking for is mods and you're gonna grab this and drag it right in just like that pros and you're gonna close it up and you're gonna start it it's a miracle it's installed pros all you gotta do is start it and oh my god here we go it's going it is going is it oh remember it was three mods before now it should be four if we did everything correctly hopefully you did everything correctly and there is four mods loaded pretty cool and one of them is dungeon tactics there you go pros now this mod is going to be on underneath the video for a link for download so you can test it out yourself in 1.10.2 and right after this just wait on for a second i'm going to spotlight the mod i hope you guys enjoy it and make sure to hit that like button if this video helped you and subscribe to see more videos like this i am the diggy man and hang on for the spotlight Hey, what's going on, bros? We are back, back here with another spotlight. I am the Diggy Man from the Adventure Pros. And make sure to hit that like button, pros, if you like this video and what, and you must have learned something new. And if you're a new viewer and you like what you're seeing and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Okay, let's get down to it, pros, because this is a pretty cool mod, man. This is Dungeon Tactics. And it's pretty cool because it brings all kinds of traps and all kinds of gadgets and oh my gosh, so much stuff. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight new swords with different abilities and copper and diamonds and gold and good stuff. I'm not going to explain because it's so much stuff to make and do, pros. Okay, then you got a little knife, you got some... Brand new pickaxes. You got a hammer. Ooh, let me show off the slingshot. Oh, let me get that slingshot. And you can shoot little pebbles and blow up. Really cool, bros. Really cool. Now you got grenades too. Boom. Ah. There it goes. Takes a little while. Hey, sheep. What's going on, man? Here, take some. Okay, sheep, run! Oh my god, I can't believe it. My sheep, my sheep friend. Okay, makes different kinds of um, grenades too. You can make packets of grenades. You can make all kinds of teleport grenades. Uh, it, it's amazing, pros. Amazing. I love it. Then you got different armor. You could add gold to your iron armor. And you could have diamond to your iron armor. It makes it even stronger. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Then you got these little cool dungarees right here, pros. Now, if you're wearing this armor right here, you're like an engineer. All these traps won't affect you. But the problem is, the armor is really weak. So, you got it's a give and take kind of thing. It's a give and take kind of thing there. Then, this is the coolest right here, pros. This is, must be the coolest right here. If you use this flight, and these pants at the same time let's put these pants on and these flight goggles on really cool and you have gunpowder to yourself in your pocket or wherever you can fly whoa rocket man and if you're wearing the goggles you'll float down nice and soft pretty cool and you get a notification that you achieved that so it'll start giving you a notification like this was my I checked my inventory, and now I got my Rocket Man. Pretty cool, pretty cool. 
All right, let's throw away some of this stuff. I need my sword and I need my sheep. So I'm going to get rid of everything else. Get out of here. Who's walking around? Who's walking around? Squid. Oh, ha. Oh, now let, let's finish this stuff first here. Okay, so this little magic string here is very cool. It's like an ender pearl, but it's crazy because you could teleport anywhere in the area. So you got to be careful with that thing when you're using. And this, oh, what is this? Forgot what this is. This one cooks. Oh, if you get one of these in the dungeon, probably most of the stuff that you're going to find here, you can't make. But some of the stuff that you could find from mobs by killing mobs. This will, it's like an extra life. If you die, and if you have this in your inventory, this will take your place. This will disappear out of your inventory, and you'll come, and you'll be right there. You wouldn't, you wouldn't die, and you wouldn't lose all your stuff. This is a trick or treat bag. If you find that in a, maybe killing a mob or whatever, you probably get some cool stuff like one of these things. And then you got an Ender Pack. You got some duct tape. Now duct tape you could repair your items with. Pretty cool, like your swords and stuff. They're breaking. Boom. You got a heart that the mobs will drop, and now it'll just go like healing. It'll, uh, you could get it in a chest, like a, a heart in a jar kind of thing. Golden heart in a jar. This is what? Oh, this is a tulling, tulling machine. Pretty cool. Let me try this out. Now, if we go... Whoa! What the hell just happened? I must have stepped into a flower. You got to be careful with these flowers, Doug. I'll, I'll explain these things. Now let's go down here where it's nice and quiet and try to tunnel ourselves. Whoa! Wow, oh, this is pretty cool. You have to have gunpowder if you're going to be using this, pros. So I like it. I like it a lot. So let's continue our little quest here. So I explained these notifications. Also, it brings obsidian bricks, electric fences. <gasps> Sheep, be careful with the fence. Oh my god. Then you get a fan. Pretty cool. Oh, let me get a redstone. Let's get a little switch here. We're going to put it down here. Turn it on. Oh, you get a fan that pushes you into a trap, maybe. Boom. Oh, watch it. Don't go over there. Oh, it didn't push you that far. You're lucky. You're a lucky sheep. Okay. So, do you want to explain these things? Let's explain these traps. Now you got a fire trap. Ah! All right. Then you have this one. What does that do to you, buddy? How do you feel about that? Which one is that? We'll get this one. Uh, they like it. Whoa! That one teleports you. That's not good. That's not good at all, pros. Watch it! Don't run over there! Oh, that's a stupid sheep. Then you get this one. Oh, I don't know what's going on in there. It could be... Oh, it gives you the little outline. Pretty cool. Whoa! That one is a specter, I think it is. So let's go through all these real quick. Let's get through all these real quick. All right. This is a fire trap, a slime trap, fume trap, port trap, specter trap. Get off of there. You like it that much? And a lying trap. Okay, there you go. That's all the traps, bros. So I hope you like that. Okay, let's get, let's move on here. Let's, whoa, fan, stop it. Okay, so these things... These will give you different effects. You'll find them throughout the, the dungeon. Over here, you get different backpacks. You have your food backpack. You have ore backpack. So when you're mining or find these things, it'll go automatically in there. Your tool backpack, your book backpack, record backpack, and potion backpack. So they you just automatically go in. Oh, I got a certificate. For that okay let me put it on my wall there we go 
That, I like that. You know, it, it gives you the achievement for everything that you do. So these are all the plants that come in throughout the world. So you got to be careful. Some of these could get really vicious, like the sheep will find out in a few seconds. Let's push this one right into that one. Hey, be careful. It gave you an effect. Oh, that one catch you on fire. Don't move, bro. Don't move. You're going to get hurt right there, man. You're going to get hurt. Be careful. Be careful. Everybody's just being nice and quiet. Be careful, dude. All right. Also, things that you could find in dungeons. These tombs. You could find... Oh, you could find these tombs in dungeons. Leaping tomb. Now, by using this tomb, you can right shift click your weapon. And, and it gives you the power or your boot or whatever. It goes into whatever you're holding and right click with the tomb in your inventory really cool i like it now also you can find all these ores um let's see we can find copper we could find lead we could find gold we could find iron and you can find a tin of cluster a tin cluster i mean also if you like fishing pretty cool little thing he brings here potions of fishies now, you can catch these special fish if you fish a lot. You get swiftness. And all you got to do is eat them. Tunnel fish. Uh, flying fish. Lava fish. That's not a good one. Muscle fish. Lung fish. I guess so you could breathe under water. And obsidian. And you'll be strong as obsidian. I like it. I like it a lot. One more trap that I wanted to figure out is this boom trap. Oh, so sorry, so, so sorry. Spectre. Whoa, where'd he teleport him to? <gasps> Teleported him underground. Did you see that, bros? That's crazy. All right, now let's check out what randomly these pirate ships are really cool. I like them and these dungeon towers. And also underground towers. So this is an underground tower. And these are above ground towers. And these things will spawn. I murfed a little bit on the config. So they'll spawn a lot of them. And I think I overdid it. But they're spawning everywhere. And these dungeons are pretty well made. But a message to the modder. I would like you to maybe... I know you wanted to be random. And I, I don't know... How hard and how much time do you have? But if you make the rooms more elaborate or more, you know, like the same room but in different traps. So when you walk into a room, oh, I know this room. No, it wouldn't be like that. You'll have like 20 different of the same room but different traps in it. Pretty cool. I think that would be pretty cool. And I will make your mod stand out and people wouldn't get bored because it's like an endless amount of adventure because you never know what room you're going to step into so on top of these towers you should find some bosses pros that's your main goal to get to the top of the tower and defeat the boss and here it's a different story every floor will have a spawner of some kind and all you gotta do is fight your way through these things and fight everybody here. Some of these guys would drop. Let's see. Let's let's fight some of these guys. Oh my god, it is crazy. It, it's like a teenage party over here. You know, teenage teenagers when they get together and they're like, oh my god, it's just so much drinking going on. But none of them are 21. I don't know. So you can just fight these things. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, see? There goes a heart. And they just dropped the heart right there. There goes another heart. That will heal you. Uh, some... Nobody dropped the backpack yet? No backpack? No backpack yet, pros? Let's get through here! Mimi! Oh, sheep! I need you! Oh, oh, oh. Nothing. 
All right, let's check in here. See, we got some golden apples. Pretty cool. Uh, what does he have there? A potato? What is that? A potato? There were zombies upstairs in the wilderness that they were just spawning these things. So these things will continue to keep on going. Guys. You'll find all the regular stuff and mostly... Oh, look. There was a trap. What was in here? Nothing. They should, he should put some arrows there. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, look at this magic thread of goodness. Now, all you gotta do is right click this thing and you'll probably get lost. Whoop. I'm teleporting. Whoa, now I'm gone. I'm somewhere I didn't know. Oh, I'm up here again. Pretty cool, it's random. I guess an emergency, I would use it. Definitely. See what else we got. Armor. Uh, you guys spawn a lot, man. You guys are active. You guys are really active. Let's see what else. We got some diamond armor. Oh, there's a trap right there. Look at that. And what is that? What gave me? Oh, nausea and hunger. That's not good. And this one. And this this dungeon can, continues to go down, pros. It is crazy. Let me bring up the... Oh, I do have it up. It continues to get deeper and deeper in here, pros. I love it. I love it. I like the concept. And I hope I hope he continues to add to this. You know what I mean? I think it would be a cool idea. But it ha has to make it more randomized. I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this mod spotlight. I am the Diggy Man. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And subscribe if you're a new viewer. Thanks for watching. Later, pros.